experiment of shear force at the section XX. Apparatus used is str 3 shear force in a beam, as shown in this diagram. The simple beam is supported at two pivot at support B and C. The beam has a cut at D. The cut mechanism is to use to stop the beam collapsing and allows movement in the shear direction only. An electronic load cell measures the force and connect to a digital force display as shown in the picture. The digital display will show the value of shear force at cross section XX when the load applied on the beam. The digital display must be ensured uh, to have a value of zero before the start of the experiment. These are hangers and masks that are used as loads applied on the beam. Three body diagram of this apparatus is shown in the picture. The first experiment is to determine shear force variation at a cut section due to variation of loads and load positions. We have three cases of experiment. The first one is by putting a load between span AB and determine the uh, shear at section XX. Three different values of load are used in this experiment. For the case one, uh, the first is at 100 mm uh, to the left from B support. The first load for this experiment is 100 gram. And when the beam is applied with this load, shear force happens at the cross section XX and it is displayed by the display digital. The digital display recorded minus 0 0.02 and this must be multiplied by minus 1 to get the value of shear uh, at the cross section XX. The data obtained will be recorded in the data sheet and will be compared with the theoretical value later. For the second trial, in the case 1, it will be 200 gram, and the same procedure is repeated. The digital display shows the value is minus 0.4 Newton in the value of the uh, shear at cross section is 0.4. The third trial is when P is equal to 300 and we have the Vxx is equal 0.6 Newton. All the data obtained from first, second and third trial are recorded. From this data obtained, one can see the variation of V at cross section XX due to variation of load. Next is case 2 where the load are positioned at uh, B and D. Three values of load are used, that is 100, 200 and 300 gram and each of them are recorded the value of the uh, shear at cross section XX. The load are applied at 140 mm away from support B. The data obtained from this case are recorded in the data sheet. For the third case, 
the load will be placed between D and C with the same amount of value as before that is P equal to 100, 200 and 300 gram and the same procedure are repeated. The data are then recorded in the data sheet. From these three cases, one can observe the variation of uh, shear force at xx due to variation of load and variation of position of load. This data set also can be used to obtain the negative and positive shear force as required by the objective number two.